Searching for a primetime player in the South region on Saturday? Once again, it was a great day for the Pac-12. UCLA's Tony Parker had 28 points in helping lead the Bruins to the Sweet 16. But I think the player we want to look at is Utah's Dylan Wright. He's been a player of the year candidate all season long, and it's because he does the little things. He's a do-everything guard, and he had 12 points, then 5 assists and 5 rebounds, and helping the youths get past Georgetown to get to the Sweet 16. He's definitely the reason why this is a Sweet 16 team, and if they go even further, he's going to be the key. The big story out of Louisville was that the team that many thought should not have been in the NCAA tournament field entirely is now through to the Sweet 16. UCLA defeated number 11 seed UAB to advance to Sweet 16 back-to-back -back years, the first two seasons for Steve Alford at UCLA, two Sweet 16 appearances. A game you can't miss in the South region on Sunday will be between Iowa and Gonzaga. The Hawkeyes played much better than their seeding in a dominant win against Davidson. The Zags, they look like they needed a game under the belt to get to that dominant form that we know they're capable of. The reason this game is so enticing is based on an individual player matchup. Iowa's Aaron White versus Gonzaga's Kyle Wilcher. Both are versatile forwards that can lead their teams to Elite Eight runs, or even further. This game's going to be a doozy.